In this video, I'll show you how to calculate the duration or Macaulay duration of a bond, which is a measure of bond price sensitivity. The duration is the weighted average maturity of a bond, as shown in this formula here. Here, PV is the present value of the payments, and B is the price of the bond. In our example, we'll assume that we have a bond with a par value of £100, a coupon rate of 7%, 5 years to maturity, and a yield to maturity of 5%. To calculate the duration, we first need to perform some intermediary calculations. First, we need to calculate our bond price, which is the sum of the present value of the payments we receive. As per this formula, we will receive just the coupon in years 1 to 4, and in the final period, we will receive the coupon plus the principal. Let's add absolute references to ensure the cells remain static as we drag them across. Then in the final periods, we'll add the principal to the coupon. Next, we need to calculate the present value of each payment. This is the coupon divided by 1 plus the yield to maturity to the power of the current year. Now once again we'll add absolute references to ensure the yield to maturity remains static. Since we know the individual present values, we can add them up to give the bond price. Now that we know what each present value figure is, and we know what the bond price is, we can calculate the weight in each year, which is the present value divided by the bond price. Finally, we take the weight we calculated and multiply this by the current year. Now that we have all the individual components of our formula, we can calculate the duration. This is simply the sum of the final row. Therefore our duration is 4.41 years. But what does this mean? Well it's easiest to understand this if we compare the duration to that of a different bond. If we decrease the coupon rate, we can see that the duration increases to 4.48. This means that an investor who switches from the 7% to the 6% bonds will have a greater interest rate risk. The same applies when we increase the maturity. This increases the duration, which increases the interest rate risk. So that's how you can calculate the duration of a bond in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.